In cooperation with the Amazon App Store, I am pleased to announce Clash of Communities 2022. This event, featuring the communities from that of Final Fantasy Brave Exvius and War Divisions, will see the two collide in Final Fantasy Exvius Universe. There are several avenues to engage here through the associated Discord channel. You can submit artwork of either Laswo or Jaden, send in pictures of your cosplay of characters from the Final Fantasy Brave Exvius universe, and try to win exclusive Square Enix prizes you can't get anywhere else. If you'd like to join the event, simply click on the Discord link that's listed below, react to this message with a thumbs up in order to properly participate, and post your entry in the submissions channel anytime between August 18th and August 24th. Then. From August 26th to August 31st, vote for any number of your favorite creations on the vote channel. At the end of the voting period, the three creations of the most votes will be declared the winners in a later live stream on September 10th. Furthermore, in support of this event, there's a special, limited time offer until August 31st related to Clash of Communities, where you get 3% Amazon coins back on select in-game purchases from Final Fantasy Brave Exvius or War of Divisions. Amazon Coin is a digital currency that is available through the Amazon App Store where you can download your favorite games. You can purchase Amazon Coins to use it to get several items through the Amazon App Store, which can let you save on apps, games, and in-app purchases. Now you might be wondering, why not just spend regular money? You see, Amazon Coins has a nice bonus added to it. The more you purchase, the greater the discount applied to the sale, so you potentially get more mileage out of the money you plan to spend. For example, if you'd like to get 50,000 Amazon Coins, it's normally at the price of $500, but Amazon Coins has its own discount applied to it, slashing the price down to $400 instead, a 20% discount. There are multiple packs with different discounts, so feel free to take a look and pick what appears to you. In order to get access to Amazon Coins, you must be using the version of the game downloaded from the Amazon App Store. So make sure your current account is bonded beforehand on your current version of the game. Then, after downloading the game from the Amazon App Store, Load your account back on to regain your progress. This way, you can now purchase Amazon Coins. So if you're a spender looking for ways to get more out of your money, consider Amazon Coins. This is a pretty useful feature that can help you if you're budgeting. So if you're interested in this, make sure to use the link in the video description as it supports this channel. Thanks again to Amazon App Store for sponsoring this video. And speaking of which, let's get back to it. The best Super Trustmaster rewards in the game. I'll be ignoring any Super Trustmaster rewards that aren't first place, but keep in mind that most Super Trustmaster rewards are excellent anyways. Well, most of them. In terms of guidelines, I'll be measuring several different things. Damage, physical, magical, hybrid, layup burst damage, jump damage, boost to equipment parameters, evasion, defense, spirit, and combining that with health for effective defense. Unfortunately, I'll be excluding several important features, elemental resistances, status ailment immunity, and killer boss. Why? Because honestly, that's another video idea. Alright, daggers. Heroes and just Heroes' two-handed katar is the best for attack. If you want more freedom, then upgrade Rakish Thief Sedan's Ultima weapon, as it also packs some layer burst damage. For magic, it's Yigni's Necro Daggers. If you'd like some added evasion, then Mastermind Zon's Crimson Butterfly will be your best bet. Swords. Crown Prince Noctis' upgraded Ultima Blade will probably get taken off the list soon. For a two-handed weapon, it's Hero Die's Sword of Die. For magic, Dragon Knight Baron's Demon Dragon Blade. For hybrid damage, Frostblade Fravius Azure Dawn has the most even distribution of stats and layer burst damage, but if you're just going by average, then Baron Sword would be better. For defense and spirit, get Paladin Sylvie Sword, though it's not the best defense-wise when thinking outside Super Trustmaster rewards. If you need evasion, then pick up Seeker of Freedom Bonds Durando. Great Swords, Stormseeker Esther's Asterisk Alpha is the best in attack. If you don't want a two-handed weapon for whatever reason, you can get Advent Children Cloud's Fusion Sword. Rain and Venus Sword Bow of Unbreakable Fave has the best magic, but I think you use it more for the layer burst damage. For defense, Loyal Knight Steiner's Defender. Cypher's Hyperion is the only Super Trustmaster reward Great Sword of Evasion, so... Katanas! Samurai Chizuru's Harukaze is the best in attack, while Doma Samurai Science Mutsuno Kami is better for layer burst damage. If you want a one-handed katana, then upgrade Orin's Masamune, though you're potentially losing out on a pretty strong two-handed katana in exchange. For magic, Chao's Glacial Squad, and defense and evasion, it's Lemon Wedge's Mura Lemon. Staffs. Melia's Magical Eggs can increase equipment spirit when dual wielding, and Freesia's staff can do the same while holding a shield. I don't really recommend chasing either of them, though. Rods. Sakura Blue's Lucent Warfan has the best magic and layer burst damage, but it's also locked to water, which might be an issue for some units. There isn't another two-handed rod that boosts layer burst damage, but if you just don't want it element locked, you can get Mage Pop's Black Rod. 
if you're fine with dropping some variance numbers, Mariana's Lunar Eclipse Rod is another contender. Bows. Upgrade Furion's Bow for attack and layer burst damage. If you want magic, upgrade Blue Sky Bow Franz Sagittarius. Axis. Wilkes Ancestral Dragon Axe is the best in attack and layer burst damage. Beast King Crocodine's Vortex Axe is the best for defense. Hammers. Lead Healing Avatar's Hammer is who cares. Maeve's Boar Hammer is the best in both defense and spirit. Spears. Atoning Dragoon Cane's upgraded lance is the best for attack and jump damage. If you don't want a two-handed spear, you can get Roberta and Ignatos' Crimson Malice. For magic, Dark Reign's Emperor Glaive actually works best when dual wielding, but if you want a two-handed weapon, Sakura, the Return Sylvan Scythe is better and boasts land burst damage. However, it's also locked to lightning, so if that's a problem, you can pick up Isha's you don't know how to pronounce this either. Immortal Hyunko's Dark Armor Spear is the best for spear. Instruments. Havis Keepsake Harmonica has the highest attack. Olivera's Fable Violin has the best magic. Bulwark and the Melodic Mascot's Pomelo Sousaphone has the highest spirit. Whips. Corral's Fidelta Whip is locked to Dark, but you care more about magic, so Dark Fina, Warrior's Prayer, Serpent Bone Whip of the Crimson Lily is a mouthful. The wrong weapons. Waka's Road Champion is something I've never used. If you don't want to go two-handed, Neo Vision Lock Sniper is the next best thing. For magic, Renault and Angelo's Pinwheel. However, Ibarra's Demonic Scroll packs some land burst damage. For Spirit, Dashing Gambler Setzer's Death Parrot, though the Vertis Vengeance cards have a high layer burst damage boost. Guns. Laguna's Machine Gun is the best in attack and layer burst damage. If you don't want a two-handed weapon, you can get the second unit's Tiny Bee. For Magic, Beach Blaster Olive's Summer Sparky. If you don't want a two-handed weapon, upgrade Four Winds Faisalus's Blue Storm. For Spirit, get Avalanche's Biggs and Wedge's Gun. Maces. Poppy. Warrior's Prayer's Great Brush of Seven Colors is the best for Magic. Zizit's Morning Star is the best for Spirit. The one other Super Trust Master reward mace, Levinson's Bag of Toys, doesn't have any contenders for attack, so first place by default. Fist. Wilkes Ancestral Dragon Claws is the best for attack. If you don't want a two-handed weapon, then it's Elena and Marquis de Leon's Falcon Knife. Superior being Hadler's Sword of Champions, Fist Type, is the best magic fist. If you don't want a two-handed fist, get Cacterius Knuckle. Royal Puppeteer Aphmaus Ken Konken has the highest defense, while Martial Artist Man's Dark Armor Fist has the best spirit. Light shields are often overshadowed by heavy shields, but if you really want one, Ramses Escutcheon is a decent pick with a variety of elemental resistances. Knightly Paragon Lawrence's Commando Captain Shield lacks the HP and elemental resistances, but makes up for it with some Provoke and Evasion. Sylvie's Spring Basket is a bit more skilled, but has the best spirit and is nevertheless useful. Heavy Shields Awakened Warrior of Light's Shield of Light has the best defense. Sacred Shield Charlotte's Honor of Grand Shout has the best spirit. Wounded Shield has the best evasion. Hats Groff's Hat is the best for attack and layer burst damage. Fina, the Returns, Floral Hairpin has the best magic. If you want a mix of those stats, then get Carlet's Red Hellbore. Presnick's Plague Doctor's Mask is the best for spirit. Helms, Ricard and Wyvern's Dragoon Helm has the best attack and is pivotal to boosting jump damage. Clothes, Fleet Footed Sky Pirate Balthier's Clothes has the best attack and layer burst damage. Remake Arif's Clothes is the best for magic and spirit, though Summoner Lena's Rainbow Dress might have more to offer. Neo Vision Lasso's purple and black battle attire can be used if you want attack and magic. Renora's Conductor Uniform has the best defense. Light Armor. Nelika's Orange Yakuse has the best attack, while Felix's Toy Soldier Uniform has the best magic. But wow, what a difference. Stern Leonis's Lion Armor still has that layer burst damage boost, and Oberic Circo is outclassed by Heavy Armor. Fledgling Warrior's Armor of Light is best for physical tanks. Wilhelm's Imperial Armor is better for magical tanks. Emperor Palamecia's armor is best for magic, but the Lena Burst damage boost is only available to breakers. Roos's blue Yakasat is best for attack, though jumpers will prefer Dragoon Kane's armor. Robes. Whimsical Winter Tiana's Jolly Jade Jacket has the best magic, but Wizard of Shantado's Minister's Coat has a Lena Burst damage boost. If you want spirit, then grab Yuna's clothes. For that one MP guy, have him wear his sister Rivera's formal suit. Accessories. Avalanche's Tifa's Crescent Moon Charm is best for attack. Summoner Yuna's Necklace has great stats, boosts land burst damage, and provides a damage modifier buff for evoke damage. Sky's Nomad's Necklace can boost jump damage. I use the Nidus Warlord Leg Guards for dual wielding Riser. Dynas King Science Ashes Leg Armor has the best magic and spirit. Hybrid damage dealers might prefer Ice Reaper Kurosami Snowing Tag. For physical tanks, Daisy's upgraded arm guard can no longer be upgraded, so, uh, guys fell. Yeti of Narshe Umaro's Blizzard Orb can let you abuse normal or counter attacks, plus it also packs death resistance. Slime's Metal Slime Earrings has a decent amount of evasion. Rain, Warrior's Prayer's Spirit Tiger Mask has a lot of HP, why? Materias. Quite a few ways to organize these, but let's take it one at a time. For attack, 
Sora from Kingdom Hearts 3's Guardian of Light, and Ninja Master Hawkeye's Thief of the Night boast the same outstanding ability with an 80% attack boost and a 75% boost in land burst damage. For just pure land burst damage, Divine Beast Chao's Everlasting Fortune doesn't have any roll restrictions. If you want to think about equipment attack, Riku from Kingdom Hearts 3's Guardian of Light gives the same attack boost alongside additional modifiers if your unit's holding a weapon. Too bad they're gone now. For just true double hand, Remake Cloud's Master of Fate is absolutely skewed for just that. If you want to boost jump damage, got Roberta's Dragoon's Wisdom. For magic, King of Destruction Zoma's King of Destruction's Magic. For double hand, House's Seer of the Future. For hybrid damage, Elena's Warrior of the Crystal has the general stats for single wielding units, while Gilgamesh's Wings That Transcend Time is great for dual wielding. Starlight Elena's Azure Radiance can also be extremely helpful if you're just honing a single weapon, though it won't give any other boosts. Moving on to other stats, King Behemoth's Pride of the Behemoth is an amazing way to boost defense, while Yoshikiri's Spirit of the Shinobi has great spirit but not so great equipment spirit. Magic Mermaid Freesius, a Shy Mermaid, is much better in that aspect. For physical tanks, well, there are so many good choices, and with limits on parameter boosts, it's probably best to mix and match HP and defense. Warrior of Dawn's Gallus, Warrior from Another World, Gladiolus' Shield of the Chosen King, and Zargabas Judge's Oath are excellent choices. Magic tanks follow a similar predicament, but you can't go wrong with Bosk Unquestionable Loyalty, Sweet Lucas Valentine Recipe, or Zargabas Judge's Oath. Again. Lastly, for evasion, there's Venera Fennis' Fallen Moon, with a 30% boost to evasion. It also has some other good effects, but those aren't the best. While we're talking about other miscellaneous materia, there's stuff like Tyve's Spirit which can boost the damage modifier of physical layer burst, Savior of Sos Lightning's Indestructible Light for raising the chain layer cap, and Axtar and Regan the Returns Close for boosting the physical layer burst damage modifier but only for breakers. And those were all the best Super Trust Master rewards in the game, except for the ones that are much more useful. So that'll be our upcoming video, so make sure to subscribe for that. In the end, Super Trust Master rewards aren't the most necessary feature in Final Fantasy Brave XVS, as there are many other places to get incredible equipment. Having said that, a lot of them are very good. Thanks for watching, and if you liked this video, make sure to leave a like and subscribe. Tell me which Super Trust Master rewards you have, and which Super Trust Master rewards you'd like to get.